Hi, this is Sarah with A3J Group, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add a field from a different application into an ad hoc report. For my example, I'm going to make a report in the work order tracking application that displays the name of the vendor rather than the company code shown here. Let's see what it looks like if I tried to create a report right now. I can see in the object structure shown on the left that there are no objects relating to companies, so I'll need to alter my existing structure by creating a relationship to the vendor company. To do this, I'm going to use the Alt-I shortcut to get the name of the attribute representing the record I need, and the name of the attribute on that record which is being displayed. In this case, the vendor attribute represents the company record. Then, if we open companies, that same value is stored in the company attribute. Now let's go to the database configuration to make sure a relationship from the work order object to the company's object exists. It looks like there are no existing relationships, so I'll create a new one called companies to avoid duplicate relationships to the same object in the future. This relationship finds the record where the company attribute on the child object is equal to the vendor attribute on the parent. Now I can go to the object structures application and add the company object to my existing reporting structure. Scroll down to the Source Objects section and create a new row. Enter the object as Companies and the parent object as Work Order. Then I'll use the Value selection to choose my new Companies relationship. I want to enter a description that helps anyone creating a report to know what this object is for, so I'll call it Vendor Information. Now let's save and go back to work order tracking. I'll grab a set of records to run the report on, then create a new test report. Now we can see the vendor information is included in the object structure. Once I click on it, I have all the different company attributes available. I'm going to select the company name and remove a few of these extra fields. Finally, I'm going to make a new label for the vendor name to more clearly state what this column represents. If I run a preview of my test report, we can see the names of the vendor company displayed in the last column for each record. Using these steps, you'll be able to create informative ad hoc reports which pull data from other applications. Learn more about A3J Group at a3jgroup.com, LinkedIn or Twitter, or reach us at info at a3jgroup.com or 877-235-4774.